threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Cam's Damn, got a pre-show seizure going on. <laughs> Good gracious. Uh, <laughs> she hear a weird yeah. blood curdling <laughs> scream. That's Cam or me. It's one of us. Yep. Um, welcome to the podcast studio, Cameron. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Good. Yeah. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about some items that you may not think are that important, mm. but you should throw it in your bag today. You'd be, you'd be wrong if yeah, you thought yeah. that, right? Cause... Some overlooked items. Some mm. of them you probably already have. Sure. Some yeah. of them you don't. We're going to tell you why. You should mm. put them in your bag. Yeah, we're excited about it. Or your whatever you're... Yeah, you don't necessarily have to put all these in a bag. Yeah, no. Cam might because he's got so many Just bags. Just stock up on all of them. Okay? Yeah, get them. Cameron, did you know that most subscription boxes are full of samples and junk that you'll never use? But not our friends over at BattleBox. No. It is the monthly subscription box for men, full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, BattleBox sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at far more than what you normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, but... You never know. Here's a sampling of what users received this month. The Temp and Toss Disposable Forehead Thermometer Strips. Genius. Boy, I've never seen it's like one of these. like a mood strip, but for yeah. temperatures. Yeah, but for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's great stuff. I'm excited for those. Uh, and then the PD-100 full-face respirator gas mask. What? It's freaking cool. It's in the I box. I tried it on. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool stuff. All this badassness starts at just 30 bucks a month. They've shipped almost a million boxes and one best men's subscription box of 2017. Our listeners get a free knife when you sign up at trybottlebox.com slash casual preppers. That is trybottlebox.com com slash casual preppers get your first battle box <laughs> plus a free knife at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers <laughs> I was gonna try and hold it in and then I'm like you know what that was not a button either that was just that was full that was 100% organic <laughs> oh man yeah yeah it's one of those days that uh, I'm just letting it rip you know I just don't even care let it go. I don't even care today. my wife's gonna kill me probably <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, uh, <laughs> it, was so, it was super smooth though. Like I've won't. been holding the back for half of that <laughs> ad. I want you to know. Like and I was gonna wait, then I'm like, screw it. This is my podcast. <laughs> you can do what I'm on. <laughs> Whatever the hell I want. Who's gonna fire me? <laughs> All right. Um it brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um Cameron, <laughs> September 9th through eleventh. It's I it's gonna be a bro. wonderful time. And we're going to be there. And it we were just talking about sweet. this earlier. Cam was like, I wish it was September 9th. I do, I do. Why not, do you wish that? I know. It's not the date that you really want to wish to come. <laughs> no, September 11th. But yeah, yeah September 9th. Right. It's okay. 9-11. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. No, look. Oh, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Did no. they do that on purpose? Scary. I don't know. Yeah, we got, we're going to have a bunch of uh Weird stuff happening. Yeah, talk about UFOs, Bigfoots mm. in a conference. How freaking amazing is that going to be in our town? Yeah, in our town. We're yeah, because we are like the epicenter of all the phenomenons that happen in the yeah. world. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So, so if you gonna... guys want to come to Phenomicon, say hello to us. See all this cool stuff. Go to phenomicon.net. Sign up. Yeah. Come. <laughs> come. Just do it. Sign up and come. Yeah, you got to figure it out, guys. Um, one other thing before we get moving on. Oh, we did yeah. a giveaway. We did a giveaway. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did a giveaway. We have the Crate Club. The entire box we're giving away. Yeah. Which is super duper With cool. With stuff in it. Yeah, we're going to put some stuff in the box. Yeah. <laughs> um, But we did a giveaway. This was on TikTok. This was on Instagram. If you didn't enter, too damn late. You can't enter now because the winner's already been picked. And the winner is, I haven't announced this yet anywhere. This is it. All right? Okay, here it comes. <gasps> Tanner man underscore. Oh, man. Tanner man. Tanner man. Tanner there's man. There's no leather supplies in here. Sorry. Nope. Tanner man. Not one, but there's lots of cool stuff. Way cool stuff. So, Tanner man, DM us your information. You better hurry. I'll get this sent out to you. I got to get your address. 
I know that ain't very green, man, but I got to get your address or you ain't going <laughs> to yeah. get it. All right. This is a whole ploy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to figure out why you live, Tanner, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listener reviews starts now. All right. All right. Love it. Five stars. This is my five star review, and I made it awesome. <laughs> Anybody hibbity hibbity biscuit number I don't yeah. know. Got a weird name, but I don't know. Just could not even a name. It's just a bunch of letters. Yeah, but, but it, yeah, it was, was a five star review. That was it. This okay. is my five star review, and I made it awesome. Yeah. If you guys want to be part of this portion of the podcast, go to iTunes, go to Facebook, go to the Kindle Book on Amazon. Leave us a five star review and make it awesome. Yeah. It's a mad mad world. So. I think most people can know what we're going to talk about. I'm going to let you talk about it because it is the big thing. Yeah. I mean, it's just been right. consuming news lately. Um, that very smooth exit strategy from mm. Afghanistan, it's gone real well. Mic drop. Yeah. That's kind of what it was. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. So, planned exit, you know, mm. and it's supposed to go smooth, and we're supposed to get our men out of there, and... Man, the Taliban just took over Afghanistan in what, like twelve hours? <laughs> it didn't take them long, did it? Unbelievable, <laughs> ridiculous. Like, so yeah, they just like control all the major cities now, and it's just been a nightmare. Um, all of the uh, you know personnel that has helped the United States <clears throat> and uh, worked with the United States for the past twenty years or so, and it's like mm. now, yeah. Good luck, see ya, adios. And you guys have probably seen some of the. Pretty video, dude. horrible. Did you see uh, the video of the run dude on the airport? People on, to get out, like on hanging on the plane in the sky. Yeah, he's all flapping around yeah. and stuff. Fake news. Is what Ag- people again, are telling though, me, I'm like, why would it be fake news? Again, though, like, what were they thinking was going to be the end result? Like, they were just going to hold on until you know. till you see the the east coast of the United States. Like, I what know. were they going to do? You're just going to, yeah, I don't know. I'm you like, know what I mean? You're not going to take your chances. You're just going to. Die in the air? Yeah, okay. it's just like, oh man, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not cool. Pretty disturbing. It does remind you a lot of the uh, what's it? Not Saigon. Um, yeah, I know. What yeah, you're wasn't it? About. Yeah. Um. Anyways, it's a bad deal. Same thing. And People are just de- they're just desperate yeah. as yeah. all get out to get out of there, and mm-hmm. we're trying. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's a huge mess and it sucks. Another one that's going on. I don't. Did you hear about the earthquake in Haiti? This last weekend, I think it was. You know, the moral of the story of that whole Afghanistan oh, yeah, thing, yeah, 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 is not every pull out method is successful. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that was my whole. That was good. That was a whole key. Point All that, that just to thing. get that in there, that joke. Yeah. That's what you call a setup. I, yeah, it was. I forgot yeah. about it. Yeah. It was a good so one there now. was an earthquake in Haiti. Man, this place. I feel so bad for this. <laughs> This is a bad place to be. Fitting name for a country. Yeah, because God Everybody hated this place. Him. God hated this place, I'll tell you that. Jeez. Um, so they had an earthquake at 7.2. It was like 80 miles west of Port-au-Prince. It killed like f- almost 1,500 people. Um, it's been not a good time for them no. at all. Um, what, was it, what was the other one, like 2010? It wasn't long ago. And it was it seven? Like yeah. It's like, it doesn't take much to bring that Jeez. place down. So, um, so it killed 1,400... 1400- 1,419 people nearly raising some towns and triggering landslides that hampered rescue efforts in a country that is the poorest in the Western Hemisphere. I didn't know that either. Haiti already was struggling with coronavirus pandemic, gang violence, worsening poverty. It, and, it is. It's an, it like, yes. blows my mind. Political uncertainty. So there were, their president was assassinated in July. Yeah. Like it's just, And then there was an earthquake. Yeah. And then uh, floods, wasn't it? A storm, like, brewing? Yeah, so, like you know what? hurricane coming in? You guys probably need to get your shit together because you're not doing something right. So you're doing wrong things. Oh, my because gosh. Because it's, yeah, you're not looking they good. Yeah, they're super punished. Um, I don't get it. <clears throat> the Caribbean and nations. And then the Dominican, Dominican, Dominic, yeah. isn't the Dominican Republic right on the, I can't remember. It's, like, confuses me. I don't know where geography. Haiti I know where Utah is <laughs> and where the Idaho is. What about it? It just blows my mind that it's, like, right there I know. and all that stuff. Yeah. So they said uh, there's a, at least 6,000 injured, um, but the devastation could soon worsen with the coming of Tropical Depression Grace. Predicted yeah, Dominican to reach Republic Haiti. and Haiti are on the same island. <laughs> on Monday night with strong winds. So there's a, a Tropical Depression headed their way as well. And that is going to yeah, be that's more than... Was. Everybody's going to be depressed. Yeah, oh, man. So... So crazy. Anyways... If you're uh, in Haiti, you're probably not listening to us for one thing because I don't even know if we got internets there. <laughs> They're the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Um, but it's a bad deal, and I feel bad for them. It is. I don't it's know horrible. what to say. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. And either. apparently now there's a bomb 
threat ha- happening in DC, like as we speak oh, yeah. right now. Somebody told us that. Yeah, we did a live stream right before this, and they were can't saying, hey, keep up with all this. What stuff. do you think about this? I'm like, I don't know. I'm still worried about other things that happened two days ago. I'm like trying to <laughs> trying to catch up. I can't process everything. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got one of them new 1080 processors or whatever they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the old model. <laughs> Come I got on, dust. I'm running Celeron. Yeah, that's right. I got 120 kilobytes, and I'm freaking running at max capacity. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Burning up my fans. Blue screen. Blue screen, blue screen of death just every up. morning. I yeah, wake up. it feels that way. Wake up to blue screen of death. You see notifications, and I'm like, are those emails? Nope, CNN. Oh, it's like yeah. blowing up my, my phone. My emergency apps are going like. Yeah. Like. Um, Phone's 70, like yeah. 700 degrees. I'm like, man. Yep. Not good. Cooking all this stuff. So, why don't we talk about the actual reason we're here? What is that reason? It's to talk about some overlooked survival items. 25 in particular. Sure. That we feel are important for you guys to stock up on and have. Put them in your bag. Put them yeah. in your truck. Put them in your bathroom. Your mom's house. Your dad's house. I don't care. Wherever. Just yeah. to have a lot of these because they're yeah. multi-use products. Yeah, that's the thing. Like They're overlooked and, and sometimes they're overlooked. Because I mean, you might not think you need them because they maybe do one specific thing. Well, you're on the bottom shelf and you overlook them. That's right. <laughs> you're too tall. Dad jokes. Too getting, tall. Getting real good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, these things have lots of multiple uses. Like, there's a lot of different things you can do with these besides the main function yeah. that they have. So that's why they're sometimes overlooked. Yeah. You yeah. Because you're like, well, nah. I don't need to put that in there. Not no biggie. So yeah. uh, first one on the list, zip ties. Mm. Seriously, like, yeah. they're they're so convenient for all kinds of things. Sure. I use them all the time. Do you? Yeah. People come in. <laughs> my finger. You got a, like a I pack think of- my arm's <laughs> dislocating. I don't zip tie it right up. I zip tie that up. But no, um, tons of different uses, yeah. and they're super simple, and you just cut them off. Like, yeah, sure. I use them all the time when I go to the dump. I yeah. I zip tie my tarp down. I don't That's deal right. with string and rope no. and bungees. You don't got no knots or Just nothing. Zip ties. Yeah, zip ties. But yeah, I mean, they're great for securing tarps and tents. And, you know, you can build your whole community out in the forest with zip ties. Yeah, just... it's like the main building material is zip <laughs> ties. Is. You can do it. Um, you can also secure kids in place. Yeah. You know, tie them into wherever. Uh, mm. f- you can uh, use them to secure bad guys. Bag, yeah, bad guys. Zip ties are yeah. their hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right, their hands. Yeah. Um, or their feet. Or anything, yeah. Any but, extremity <laughs> that can be... Any appendage is poking out. Yeah. <laughs> just just zip tie <laughs> Hey, I'm going to zip tie that down if you don't get it away from me. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Why is, hey, wife, why do you got a bunch so of zip ties? so gross. I'm going to zip tie it. <laughs> My wife's got a bag of zip ties next to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me like, hey, you can try that crap. Try to- <laughs> I'm gonna zip tie it. I, we what we went through last night. I'm not gonna do it again. I got zip ties. <laughs> yeah. So that's number one reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, you can buy like for five bucks, like ten billion at Harbor Freight. Yeah. You know, different I'll colors. Give them away when you walk in. Yeah. Basically. Make bracelets. <laughs> I mean, you can make all kinds of stuff with them. Sure. But um, they really are super useful, even when you're using uh. You can zip tie like a flashlight to your shotgun or, yeah. you know. Anyways. Or um, a shotgun to your flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Other way around. This, whichever whichever this flashlight needs, which, whichever one. This flashlight needs a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, just, not the other way around. Yeah. I don't think about the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I just want a, a shotgun attachment to this flashlight. <laughs> so true. That's what it is. You just got It just depends on the way you it's look at it. backwards the whole time. Yeah. Everybody thinks they're attaching a flashlight to a shotgun. <laughs> no. But um, then the other thing is you can zip tie uh, like your equipment tighter mm-hmm. into, uh, you know, you can compact stuff and put it in your bag a little tighter. Yeah. Um, the other thing is it can be used for like a tourniquet, you know. I was going to say that. Like you could use it as a tourniquet. Yeah. It's a little I sketchy mean, <laughs> getting it off. but <laughs> yeah, got to cut it off. But if you have nothing else, that's, yeah. I mean, zip tie it and just leave them. <laughs> <laughs> zip tie them to a tree. <laughs> zip tie up the tourniquet. Yep. Yeah. Go. There you go. But I, yeah, I mean, just having some in a if bug you get your out hand bag, blowing off though. Yeah, and you just bite it. Zzz, well, how much easier is that than trying to tie? Figures nice. gotta be easier. <laughs> yeah, gotta be. It's it's way easier than the rats turning it. I'll tell you that. Oh, that yeah. thing's confusing. So I yeah, I think putting putting zip ties in a EDC bag is a huge deal. Like yeah. how many times have I used it? 
I don't know, a lot probably. <laughs> um, I haven't written it down, Let but talk I talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> but I have used them quite a bit out of my EDC kit. So yeah, it's, they're great. Get them mm-hmm. absolutely. Another one maybe you don't think of, especially if you don't like uh, your teeth to look great. <laughs> um, dental floss, right? Dental floss is. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with it, but most most importantly, you can keep your teeth all clean. The whole clean. reason it's made, it's not being used for. Exactly. So. Yeah. Um, although I did hear something that, like, flossing doesn't actually... I saw some uh, study that they did. They're like, flossing really doesn't help you. Really? Yeah. I saw that. I don't know like, how I could believe that. I don't know how I could believe anything these days, but I did see that, Cameron. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I don't believe anything either. <laughs> um, yeah, that falls. Nah, fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Um, you can also use it, uh, for cordage lashing to build a shelter. Well, if that's true, I've been following that for a long time. Uh, me too, me too. Only when I get a piece of corn stuck in there. Like, yeah, you know, that's a bad flush. deal. Or floss eat, out. Or if you're eating ribs, you know, and you get uh, <laughs> sinew and whatnot <laughs> between them teeth, gotta get yeah. it out. That would be, that seriously is super annoying though. It is. That alone is why I would have dental floss. Like gnawing on some rabbit. And yeah, just, you're like, that's rabbit fur. Imagine trying to be stealthy and you're like, Someone sucking on their teeth. <laughs> I hear it. Zombie eating something. <laughs> yes. No, I just got corn in my teeth. Corn. Um, but you can uh, lashing cordage for for shelter building. So if you had some in your pack, worse comes to worse, you can use it. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, just like you could build a raft if you had to, like you're on um, with Tom Hanks on the island. Oh, right. He used yeah. VHS tapes. You could use some dental floss. <clears throat> Who would win? I don't know. <laughs> One of you would. Great stuff, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, depending on the flavor, you could soak it in some water. Yeah. Get some minty flavored water. Get a ball of it. And yeah, chew on it. Got nothing better to do. Yeah, I used to, when I was a little kid, I used to always just, like, put it in my mouth because it tasted it good. It did, yeah. You know what I mean? You done using that dental floss? <laughs> I'm going to have a suck on that right quick. <laughs> Got some food on there. <laughs> yeah. What was it? What was that? Floss? Corn and mint <laughs> flavor? <laughs> mm. oh, man. Yeah. Uh, Sounds great. Ribs and I'm good for the next thirty minutes. That's barbecue ribs <laughs> and some peppermint. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cinnamon. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the What's life that? of luxury. What's that irony taste? That blood. <laughs> you don't floss much, do you? <laughs> um, oh man. So yeah, I mean that's a joke. Obviously, that's, that's super gross. I don't bro. think you want to make minty flavored water. I don't want to suck on somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you don't want to make, like, mint soup either or cinnamon soup <laughs> out of it. I just wouldn't do it. No. Uh, Tripwire. Yeah. The stuff's actually really strong. Yeah. It's super duper strong. Restraints. Yep. Tie somebody up. Uh, clothesline. You got to dry out them clothes. Oh, yeah. You just, That's good. You know, stretch it out there. Makes so sense. Tet- it's going to smell so, fresh. So sense. It smells like cinnamon. Yeah. Minty flavor. <laughs> I said it makes so, so sense. sense. <laughs> so sense. That is so sense. Yeah. Um, you could use it to mend clothing if you needed yeah. to get a, you know, stick in a needle, needle and thread. That's true. Get it done. Shoelaces. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, a snare. All these apply to all <laughs> everything. Pretty though. much, yeah. This is the same list we have for all 25 <laughs> items. A snare. <laughs> you could. <laughs> it's true, though. There's a lot that is. <laughs> Ah, uh, you gotta yeah, you yeah, can snare catch them rabbits because they like they like the smell of cinnamon and teeth. <laughs> is what I've heard. So that was that was a good one. <laughs> um, fishing line. can't you a tooth fairy? <laughs> We're what? eating tooth fairy tonight, boys. <laughs> fishing line you could use it to fish with yeah. if you needed to. Um, these the wax style actually could be used as fire starter like tinder. I wondered about that. Never tried it. I haven't either. And now maybe I'm wrong, but I think you could do it. Yep. You know, you could yeah. use it to make a bow drill as well. Yeah. Um, that would be great. And That's also, true. worst comes to worst, you could stitch up that wound with it you if could. you had to. Yeah. Right? Anything I mean, to not, pull not great. together. No. That cinnamon's going to burn. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The flavorless is probably going to be best. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, mint or cinnamon's going to be... Ugh, this stings and itches. Shut up. It's closed. <laughs> it's all done. <laughs> Anyways, dental floss is one you probably don't want to overlook because there's a lot of different uses for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Um, next one is cotton balls. You know, we say this. I was <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if I've ever used a cotton ball in my life. Oh, yeah. I I'm have. just saying, I'm sure people do, and I know my, my wife has. Yeah. But like. They're all over. In I don't know what bathroom, they're I'm used sure. for because I've never used one. Yeah. Well, let me tell you okay. some of the uses. Doesn't Elf eat them? 
<laughs> Doesn't he eat them? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that came to mind when I was Did actually it? doing this list. Um, so obviously makeup removal is one of the best. So that's yeah, that's it's why one the, of the, best. the ladies like them. Um, and then you could probably turn around and use that as fire starter because like napalm. Oh gosh, yeah, like it's their faces are on. so flammable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are They're boy. hot. My yeah. wife's guy super dying. hot. Ouch. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Um, but you know, maybe not just makeup. It's just army that's paint. That's not a camo. bad idea. I wonder if they are great fire starters after. after. I wouldn't doubt it. They got all kinds of other things. We on. got tested out. Got we oil. Should, they got we can, baby oil. We can do a TikTok on that. Oh, see if it works. And trap. Hey, ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello. Throw lady. this in a Ziploc bag when you're done with it. Your no, husband. just take it right from her hand and start a fire with it. <laughs> right then. Wait. Hold on. Oh my Burn it. But yeah, they do make excellent mm. homemade fire starters. They do, yeah. Or fire tartar, how I wrote it. <laughs> fire tartar. Fire tartar sauce. Um, soak them in a little Vaseline or any type of petroleum, mm. and they can burn for a long <laughs> boom, time. Boom, you have a fireball. Yeah, boom, boom, <laughs> fireball. <laughs> yeah. Um, for medic- medical uses, we use them all the time for like... Um, you know, pre-injection. Pre-injection. Just wipe it off. Yeah. Soak them in alcohol. Sure. And you got fire starter again. Look at all these. <laughs> That's right. Don't throw away cotton yeah. balls ever again. Colonoscopies are great for, <laughs> I heard. Just stuff them up <laughs> in there. <laughs> You're pretty, you probably need a little bit of space filled up in this spot. <laughs> There's a hole in here. <laughs> did, you, did you know that? <laughs> yeah. We're going to fill it up for wow, you. Wow, that's pretty gross. <laughs> but they, uh, um, yeah, so they, they have mm. m- multiple medical uses. Sure. Um, you can actually use them for like a wick and a candle. Really? So you just kind of twist them together, put some wax around it because you're making wax out there. Cool. <laughs> and they, uh, yeah, they burn good. Wow. Um, wh- what's the little company from Logan again wh- that make those fire starter things? I don't know. But it's like one of the better fire Ready starters. Ready fire puffs? Yeah, fire puffs. Something like that. that. Those are nice. I don't know if they make them anymore. I don't either. That was they, a long they time were, ago. They were working really good, though. Yeah, they were. And they Very kind nice. of like, you know, cotton balls. They tear apart so you can mm-hmm. use a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, cotton balls have a lot of uses. I didn't go over all of them, but those are the main ones. They put them in the, fire. the tops of the pill bottles. Yeah. For yeah, some that's reason. True. That's true. For some reason. If you want to be like super gray yeah. man, yeah. stuff it in stuff that's clanking around. Yes. Like you're... Your dinnerware, stuff a full of cotton. Your brain. You gonna, yeah. <laughs> Clinking around in there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, cotton yeah. balls. Cotton balls. Go on to like that. Trash bags. Yeah. Uh, now, we have talked about this one These before. These are like one of the best. I love but trash it bags. is, boy, I got to give me some more trash bags. Yeah. I'm always out of them for one thing. Yeah. And then my kids just go ahead and throw everything in the empty can. Oh, yeah. The bag I love in that. It. That's my That's favorite. That's my favorite. Then you get to go in and clean it, and it's... yeah. Um, it's a great you weekend. You need 16 people to hold the bag open to dump yeah, the garbage into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. Um, but the, the trash bags are really good if you need to hold trash. You know, in an SHGF situation, you got to keep things clean. Sanitation is key. Yeah. Right? And so trash bags are going to be a great way to help you with that. Get rid of the trash. Even if it's not like getting taken away to the dump, at least it's in a bag in the backyard Next to the kids, right? Yeah. And it's not in your kitchen <laughs> where you're preparing your rabbit meat. Yeah. You just, you want you want to get that. Yeah. Also, trash bags are great for keeping things dry. Um, you can put supplies, it, whatever you want in there, and it's not going to get wet. Yeah. Because they're waterproof. I Makes have one tucked nice. in my bug out bag. I do as well. Yeah, or I have two. one in my... Because there's, even on a bug out, there's so many different things. Uh, for shelter building, if you needed to, to keep the rain off the top of you, yeah. that's a great thing. If the water, if the, the ground is wet and you need to sit down, put that out. I mean, there's cross so many. Cross the river. You've got to cross the river. Blow it up, float across. Yeah, maybe. helps you float and keep your stuff dry. Exactly. Um, you could use, punching use it bag. as a <laughs> punching bag. Makeshift cold compress with snow or ice if yeah, you need to, right, in, in a medical it's situation. Good. They're great for hamster farms. I think that was the first <laughs> thing we talked about with the hamster farms, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't or was it a tarp? I think it was a tarp. It might have been a tarp. Either way, same thing. Yeah, same, it is. Right, just a smaller farm. Yeah. <laughs> it just depends on how Too much sheeted. you're expanding. Um, collecting rainwater, uh, it, it's great for, or for making a solar still. don't get the scented ones. Yeah. You don't want to click rainwater. You don't want it to smell like bounty or or gain or whatever (laughs) it is. Lemon. Yeah, lemon. Those are my favorite, those. They're the best ones. ones, Yeah. Um, To store or to move water with, you could use trash bags. But again, get the kind that's 
not scented in the kind that's the the heavy duty stuff because yeah. if you want to move water, you don't want one of those cheapy ones. No, the black <clears throat> ones that you put leaves in; those are typically the better. The contractor bags, those yeah, are the ones. yeah, those, those are the ones. ones. What are uh, they like seven hundred gallons or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you could make a shower with it. <clears throat> you put the black ones. You fill it up with water. Put it out in the sun for a little. Let it let it get warm. Poke sure. some holes in the bottom. Take your shower. Uh, pillar. People have been selling these for years. I know. And you're dumb. You just get a garbage bag. Exactly. A pillow. You just fill it up with cotton balls that you've been saving. And, and <laughs> yeah, there's there your go. pillow, right? Yeah. Uh, a toilet. Because you can poop in it and you can pee in it. <laughs> yeah. And it keeps it away from Just your line food. your five-gallon bucket exactly. or wherever. Yep. Uh, obviously, trash bags are super helpful in a pandemic situation. Um, you can help to quarantine a room if you don't have those plastic rolls or, or something like that. You can also use it to black out windows, maybe in a power outage. You're trying to be gray man. You have power in the house because you're smarter than everybody else. And you don't want everybody to know. You black out your windows with trash bags. Nobody's the wiser. No. So and trash bags, mess with that house. trash bags are, are vitally important. Don't overlook those when you're when Seriously. you're getting items. Seriously, like they they do. They have tons of uses. Yeah. Um, and this one seems silly, but silly. it's worth it. Mm-hmm. So a pencil sharpener, you know, teeny tiny little. You can get all kinds of varieties. Yeah. But um, if you're out in the wilderness, stick a little twig in there. Mm-hmm. You got yourself some tinder, like yeah, like that. It really Boom. does make good tinder. Yeah, and um. And no one likes a broken pencil tip. No. So if you do have a pencil, <clears throat> you're going to want a pencil sharpener. But not only that is, um, man, you can make, I don't know if you remember back in school days. Yeah. I used to make the sharpest pencil in town. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can make a weapon, you know. You can take some of those twigs and sticks and make you some darts or arrows. Yeah. A little spear. Bolts. Or a bunch of them and just tie them together with your zip tie. Oh, you got yourself a um, a spear for fish. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyways, pencil sharpener, uh, super handy, safer than just carving into you know a, a yeah. point with your pocket knife, <clears throat> and it weighs literally nothing. It really you does. You have like yeah. fifteen of them. Yeah, for sure. And your kids probably just enjoy making a bunch of tinder for you. Absolutely. So I thought that was a pretty good one to I don't have that I'm going to throw in my bag. Good idea. I like it. Yeah. The next one is a deck of cards. Um. So, Magic tricks. Exactly. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, survival, depending on the situation you're in, could get very, very boring. Mm-hmm. You kind of think like, you're, oh, I'm dodging zombies all day. You know, there's lava. You could lava. give your wife a deck of cards and she'd be good forever. For sure. 100%. There's like Michigan rummy, Mexico yeah, rummy. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and if they're like murder cards that have like murderers oh, on them. Geez, yeah. I mean, like she'd never leave the bedroom. <laughs> Like, she wouldn't. She would just be there with those cards all day <laughs> long. laying cards out yeah. to the bedroom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Follow the cards, babe. You're going to have fun in That's there. Ted Bundy. Grab it. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know? Uh, but you're going to have to pass the time in a survival situation. And maybe it's not even, like, a straight-up survival situation. Maybe the power went out. Mm-hmm. And when the, I don't know if you realize this. When the power goes out, there's no power. Like, you can't watch TV. You know what I mean? And maybe your iPads are all dead. There's no TikTok. Yeah. No Tiki Takis. Um, so you got to do something. And the, these deck of cards, they're small, they're compact, and you can play like 9 million games with them. Seriously, right? there's a ton of games. Slap Cam deck. hates all of them. Slap. Cam <laughs> hates every one of them, but you can play them. Yeah. He's not, a, he's not a card player. I'm not a huge card player. Yeah. But I do play him. <clears throat> he will. He will if you beg him. Yeah, like Slapjack, mm. my favorite. You kids kill love Slapjack, it. man. <laughs> yeah. Kill it. They also make a ton of different type of survival type playing cards. So basically they have tips or they have like edible plants on them. So when you're playing, you're learning. Yeah. <clears throat> you I know what I mean? Those are sweet. I do too. I think it's great for kids, mm-hmm. um, adolescents, <laughs> young adults, adults, yeah. older adults, yeah. you know. Jerry's. Everybody. <laughs> Jerry's. <laughs> yes, everybody. Uh, they're just great because, again, if you have them in your pack and they maybe have edible plants on them, you're wondering if you can eat a plant, you know, get out that's the, the one I have. The nine of spades. Yeah. And figure out Which if that's one the one. Can I wipe my butt with and not have exactly. all kinds of yeah. problems? Uh huh. You could also do, like Cam said, you could do uh, magic tricks. Yeah. You could build card castles. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Have you ever tried to do those? Mm hmm. You can do this alone. You can play solitaire. Yeah. Solitaire is a game you could play by yourself anytime <laughs> right. you want, as long as you have a deck of cards. Yeah. Uh, you could do that game where you chuck them across the room into a hat. That game is actually that, pretty fun. Yeah, say That's what a you time will. Killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, you can, you know, make a little extra money on the side in SHTF, do some card sharking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like follow the, the ace of spades or whatever. True. You could do that. Uh, you could use them as fire starter. Right. Right. I don't, I've never tried them. I never have. <clears throat> but my guess is but they're I, flammable. They're paper. You can burn them. Yeah. Yeah. You could use them to seal up a sucking chest wound. Yeah, if you need to, that's true. you know what I mean. Just yeah. stick it right on there. Yeah. Um, little, little duct tape, a little honey, a little honey. <laughs> yeah, honey, that's right, honey. That's the way to do it. Just smother it in honey and stick it on. <laughs> That'll probably do. It. And then you know, suck and blow. Yeah, for those teenage zombie apocalypse nights. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, oh, suck oh, and blow. Okay, okay. You ever played suck and, suck and blow? Yeah. Uh, nah, yeah. takes me back. Takes me back. Uh, yes. Or date night. Date night. Whatever. It's not quite as strip fun poker. when you're married. Yeah, strip <laughs> poker. There you go. Yeah. Now you're getting somewhere. But I'm just saying, you know, when you were a teenager, suck and blow. You're just like, this is <laughs> yeah. awesome. This is the life. <laughs> yeah. I remember this playing that on, on the bus one day. I can't wait until I'm married. Can't wait until I'm married. Play suck and blow all night. <laughs> yeah. And just like, oh, wait. Nope. Cards aren't even Don't part of work. It. You get zip tied down when you, <laughs> you even <laughs> you suggest it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, deck of cards, they're great. They really are. They c- you can even like put notes on them, stick them places. Somebody you know look for the ace of spades up in a tree. Oh yeah, that's a plot yeah. point to a, some movie. That's probably. a book I've been writing. <laughs> or you that's can- as far as I've gone. <laughs> Asian What's it tree. Called? What's it called? <laughs> Asian tree. Asian can you tree. find me? It's a kids book. It's a kids book. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what it is. But yeah, no. Um, Young adult. I do like the deck of cards that have like all the information. I have one that's um, tracks, mm. not train tracks, <laughs> like <laughs> tracks. Um, yeah. And then one that's like uh, that's the botany. And they also make the how uh, many things can you eat out there? What's the uh, the sur- survival the sur- the game? Not really a game where you have like a scenario on it. Oh and yeah, you talk yeah, about yeah. it. Um, God, what is it called? <clears throat> uh, shoot, I don't remember. But they're, they 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 make them card game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of games. Fun. Fun for the whole family. Yeah. Um back to pencil sharpener. <laughs> you should get a pencil sharpener. Yeah. No, um and we this is always part of like a list of bug out bag items you should have, but yeah. a notepad and a pencil. Yeah. Because you just never know. Um keeping track of things on your phones what we do daily, but yeah, yeah. battery dies, mm. EMP hits, both of those happen. You're screwed. And you yeah. can't keep track of things. So the old trusty way of writing things down, maybe it's just journal things, this, you know, things that you're doing, places you're going, keep track of your travel and all that. Um, you can use it to leave notes for maybe somebody that's coming up later, like if you have in your regular bug out plan. Look you know, in the tree. Ace look of spade. The, <laughs> then under the tree, there's a rock. It's different from the other rocks. You lift it up. There's a note in there and a pencil sharpener. <laughs> you love it. A little bit um, of dental floss soup. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good dinner. Watch out for the trip line. Love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Meet me by the candlelight dinner. Mm, cinnamon dental floss soup. <laughs> cinnamon dental floss <laughs> soup. Smell to the cinnamon and follow the trail. <laughs> um, And then you can... uh. Inventory and ration much easier. When yeah, you can. Down. Yeah. Um, sometimes the kids, it's just something for them to do. You can doodle. Yeah. The problem is, is they use like a little, like one one hundredth of the page, and then move to the next page. <laughs> use one one hundredth of that page. That notepad will last thirty seconds. <laughs> That's the problem, man. You do flip book. Those are fun yeah, for little. sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. There's uh, and then you can burn it if you don't. <laughs> If you yeah. if you're in a pinch or butt wipes, yeah, that's true. You could use it as butt wipes. I would much rather use a, a little piece paper of notebook cuts, though. Pater. Yeah, Peter. <laughs> Hello, Peter. <laughs> Hello, Peter. <laughs> Peter. Is that a notepad with Peter? <laughs> oh, Peter, Peter. <laughs> but yeah, um, lots of uses and love letters. You didn't say that. I didn't say that, did I? No. Love letters. Mm-hmm. You write little notes to your wife. Keep pushing. You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> no, not sexual. Yeah, I, well, I know. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> You're writing her notes. Keep pushing. There. <laughs> Giving it to her <laughs> as it's happening. There's, there's, I like that. There's a card game in the bedroom. <laughs> Baby, I like that. You're just handing her notes like you're a mute. Maybe maybe it's a. Uh, I, I like that idea, actually. 
<laughs> dirty talk through through handwritten uh, notes. That would take forever. Yeah. <laughs> this is taking kids get forever. Them. <laughs> this is taking forever. She hands back to you. You spelled that wrong. <laughs> Why did I marry you? <laughs> Why is the zip ties over on? Are you done? Check there? yes or no. <laughs> Please check yes. <laughs> did you want to do this? Check yes or no. Um, but yeah, uh, keep track of things, organizing, doodles, love letters, dirty stuff. Dirty talk. Um, but yeah, and you can start mm. it all on fire when you're done with it. Beautiful. So get a notepad. Do it. Today. <laughs> Call this number. Um, <laughs> sewing kits. Mm. I don't know how to sew. I don't either, but. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's good. But there's a lot of things you can do with a sewing kit if you are skilled enough. Yeah. Um, one thing is repairing your clothing, and in an SHGF situation, you can't go to Walmart, you can't go to H and M, you can't go to Air Postal. Where else do you go? I don't know. <clears throat> Pack Sun. Pack Sun. You can't go there. You can't go to Buckle. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go to. I mean, that stuff looks like it's Dillard's, already been through Mervin's, SHGF. <laughs> JC Penny. JC Penny. Yeah, you're right. That mm-hmm. about that. Macy's. Macy's. There's a lot of Nordstrom them. Rack. <laughs> yeah. You know, all these places. Down, uh, down East Outfitters. Down East out. You can't go to off-the-grid surplus. No, you can't. You, can't you don't need do to it. sew any of their stuff anyway. No. Nah. So Name it's gonna last, last till, you know, Jesus comes again, probably. <laughs> um, but you can repair the clothing. Yeah. That's the whole point of this stupid conversation we're having. You can repair clothing with a sewing kit. Uh, you can and fix- it's better to have skill, but mm-hmm. like- Mm-hmm. I've sewed a button on with all kinds of methods. Oh my gosh, dude! It's I just sewed a, a button big on ball once. of like all the all the freaking thread. The button's yeah. there though. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It worked. It, it looks looked, stupid, looks, but it worked. Yeah, it's not even close to where it should be. No, you know, your shirt's all pulled tight where yeah. the button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's over where your nipple is. The other <laughs> ones are in the middle, so it's like you know. It's just if I want to hang a badge or something. Off yeah, you never know. Uh, you could also fix a ripped tent or a ripped tarp if you needed to. Mend backpacks. I mean, you don't have to if you get 9,000. Men's 9, backpacks? Or, <laughs> men's back. Not we men's. Yeah. <laughs> we men's. Um, if you got enough backpacks, you don't have to worry about this. That's and true. that's what I keep trying to tell my wife. We don't have to sew these up. Guess what? Throw it away. Throw Actually, it away. don't throw it away. I want to keep it Give just in keep case. It. Yeah, that's how I am, dude. I broke a strap on one. I still can't throw it away. No. Um, it's just one of the, what do they call it? The sling pack now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sleeping bags, you can mend sleeping bags, any type of gear, really, when it comes down to it. They're, they're great to mend. Um, in an emergency, extreme emergency situation, you could stitch up a wound with you a could. sewing kit, yep. right? It's definitely. Done on day Z. Yeah, absolutely. I've done it. Yeah. Sew a kid's mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be quiet sometimes in the SHTF. But there's just, so, I mean, a sewing kit is, you know, it's very useful. Yeah. So uh, get one and at least have the basics down of how to how to use it. Yeah. I don't have it down. And you can um like they're they're like teeny tiny little kits yeah. that have enough for most buttons and stuff. Exactly, yeah. You know what would be the worst? You're bugging out and you're in the the button on your pants falls off or something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you don't have a kit to, to sew that back it's up. It's irritating. Be a beast of a of a bug out. Right. And uh like I like that one that we got from Battlebox. Mm-hmm. It's got that big old thick suture yeah. needle. Like you can sew leather with it. Yeah, and for sure. Put your shoes back together. You'd sew yourself right to a horse if you had to. <laughs> right to yeah. the horse skin. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you ain't falling off. No, nope. no. Nope. Um, they have like I was looking. They on have. Is that what you said? They have. <laughs> so that's like there, that's said. a good joke. <laughs> sew yourself to the horse. <laughs> they have really good running skills. <laughs> <laughs> Quit horsing around. Let's go. Um, the like I went on Amazon and they have these uh manual like handheld little uh sewing machines. What? Yeah, Singer even makes them. But how sweet is that? I'm gonna get one. Cool. Only twenty bucks. Really? And just, how does it work? Well, there's one that's battery operated, and there's <clears throat> another one that's nuclear just, powered. Like, <laughs> that's what I, I don't want. That thing. To- <laughs> Solar. Come on, get the sun Wind on powered. it. Wind <laughs> powered. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we hem go. Hem up those pants. I want to hem up. Yeah. I'm but they have some really cool ones. Um, mm. And I've looked into like those old fashioned freaking pedal ones. I yeah. can't remember what they call those. Pedal ones. ones. <laughs> pedal ones. <laughs> Pioneer ones, I think. <laughs> Grandma was so But yeah, the little handheld ones, I really do want to mm. get one and try it out. Interesting. Do a video at some point. For sure. Okay, on to Are something. they flammable though? 
I'm sure. Can you start a fire with them? I guarantee it. It's got batteries. Sure. Some I heard those start fires. Yeah. Um. Here's here's probably one of the best items ever made on planet Earth. Sure. Duct tape. Mm-hmm. What can't you do with it? Tell me. Can you think of anything you can't do with it? Uh, no. Drive a car, fly a plane, maybe? All that. Just make an autopilot. You can do it. Tie all the stuff together. Yeah. Um. It's a great item. has multiple uses. Patch tents. Yeah. Patch pants. Tie things together. Um, your garbage bag gets a small rip. Let's put some duct tape on it. That's right. Um, you can use it to waterproof items. You know, mm-hmm. your shoes start wearing out, just duct tape them. You can make clothing. You can. <laughs> you can make a vest <laughs> if you had to. You know what I mean? <laughs> All the clothing <laughs> items. You go right to a vest. Well, it's funny because it's in a song I know. It's a duct tape vest. Oh, Anyways, okay. that's why I was that thinking about sense it. Why that came I'm to sorry. Your brain. <laughs> Every time I think what about, about me, a hat, is that not good enough? <laughs> no. Waterproof, covers your head. No, I'm thinking suspenders, maybe. Socks. Socks. Duct tape. Oh, that'd be horrible. Yeah. I've used duct tape many a times for little pokey, like broken pieces of shoe on like the oh yeah the yeah. heel yeah. I'm like oh tuck I'm gonna tuck that duct tape up um yeah and uh they can also uh be used for medical purposes you know mm. they're not the greatest thing for covering <clears throat> wounds but you can use it in a pinch sure um they also duct tape is also good to if you um tape around a wart it kills a wart really yeah that's cool it's toxic to the wart. i didn't know that a wart it's also it. toxic it, to your body it but don't worry it probably, will die. <laughs> yeah it kind of isn't the greatest thing yeah. for your skin but you can uh control wart somewhat with duct tape that's cool. proven there's study on it really yeah wow the only thing bad about duct tape is it leaves the residue everywhere yeah on whatever you tape yeah. that's why i like gaff tape better and gaff tape seems to be a little bit stronger but it's expensive What's, is that the one that you guys use for yeah, taping down your mats and mm-hmm. stuff? It's cool stuff. It's pretty cool. It's way cool. It's just expensive. Yeah, I do hate that stickiness <clears throat> or when it's exposed to the sun for very long. Yeah. And you just like peel the little plastic off leakings. the back and it yeah. leaves the whole adhesive. Yeah, not great. Get good duct tape. But duct tape's great. I agree with camo, you. Camo. There's even camo duct tape. Yeah, there is. You know, so you yeah. just tape yourself and sit in the forest. Tape no one's yourself gonna... sit in the forest. <laughs> exactly. Tape yourself to a tree. Ain't nobody <laughs> finding you. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot, Bigfoot, no. if he's tracking you, yeah. you just tape yourself to a tree. I like that. Yeah. You say, is he attracted to you, or is he tracking you? Well, both. Oh, okay. He might smell like crap when they're attracted yeah. to you. Um, so here is one. Morale booster. Yeah. Candy, chocolate, prizes, etc. <laughs> I just threw a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, you cannot overlook morale boosting items. This yeah. is something that if you're overlooking it, you're not good at doing stuff. You should get better because you get you can't overlook this. Hard candy. Boy, it's easy to store, but it can save your life, especially if you have kids. I mean, you give them a piece of candy, don't matter what's happening in their life. It's true. Mom just died. Grandpa <laughs> jumped off a cliff. Cat ran have over. Have you had a Jolly Rancher? Have you had a Jolly Okay. Oh, yeah, everything's oh, fine. I don't care about anything. <clears throat> yeah, seriously. Hard candy. Um, And they stay good for a really long time. Yeah. I don't know if they ever go bad. Good for sore throats, too. Oh, I got a Werther's original. I got 1983. <laughs> I think it's still good. You know what I mean? Keep taking it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smells great still. Still sitting on my dash. Yeah, it's great. Uh, good, good stuff. Um, Just don't chew it. <laughs> it ruins oh, it. Yeah. They're also, they're great bartering items because the entire world's addicted to sugar. Yeah, that's true. Every person on the face of the planet needs sugar. And so if you have sugar in an SA shift situation... You're the king of the world, basically. Yeah. So these are great to have. You're the Willy Wonka of the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Um, who can make the sunshine? <laughs> drink. Um, also, drink mixes. I'm going to put that in this category, too, because... There is... <clears throat> <and I'm>, <laughs> um, Where anyways, were we with this candy? But, no, what's the song when they're in the... Uh, uh, is they're on the boat. It raining? Raining. Yeah, is that one. It that one used to haunt my dreams. It did. When I was it creeped little. me out. I they're all looking, it and it's like a big yeah. old cockroach shows up. <laughs> 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 this is a kids' movie. <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? Yeah, I gotta be on. Acid. Is it raining? It's <laughs> <a> snowing. <laughs> it was a really weird part. Good gracious, I'm scared now. Yeah, I was. It was um, pretty, pretty intense. What was I? What paddle was I boats. Say? Yeah, creepy. <laughs> Who wants to be on a paddle boat? <laughs> um, so drink mixes. You know. Straight water, yeah, forever is I really think that's hard good to drink. To put that in there. Um, 
and especially if you have chemically treated water, it's bad. It, it doesn't taste great. You want to add a little tang Even to like that? storage water, you know, yeah. you shake it up, it still has a For weird. sure. Add some tang or some Kool-Aid. It's going to, you're going to, it's going to taste so you great. get kids hydrated in no time. <clears throat> exactly. Um, so just think about having drink mixes in this category as well. Cam wrote down prizes on this. So I said get a bag of prizes. I don't know. You know what I mean? You want to give your wife a prize <laughs> after she survives Fends her first. off a marauder. Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby, you did a good job. You get a prize. <laughs> you got that spider ring. There you go. <laughs> you know the little black spider ring she always, always Polly gets. Pocket. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Good you. job. Anyways, morale boosters. No, I, the reason I put the prize in there is because I, I remember during like when the when when the COVID was hot and heavy last year, yeah. it was like the kids wanted to go spend some allowance money. Sure, and they you were like, you don't really want to go. Mm-hmm. Put a mask on, expose yourself, let people criticize you for wearing a mask. Yeah, you know all that crap. Expose yourself. <laughs> Check the candles in the back. Yeah, yeah, do what you gotta do. <laughs> but um, it's like if you buy little matchbox cars and sure. just kind of store those things away, and then you're like, look, we got a shop downstairs. You want to buy a toy? <laughs> hey, little kid, come to the basement <laughs> the and neighbor- get you a toy. <laughs> the neighborhood kids, you're you want like, some chocolate? Hey. hey. <laughs> you like cars? You like little cars? Is it raining? <laughs> Is it pouring? <laughs> How else are you going to get yeah. replenishable food yeah. when things are... You got to get the kids in your basement. Hey, that bike looks cool. You want a little bell for it? Come in here. <laughs> <laughs> come on in, boy. Listen to it ring. I got dang. a whole Walmart shelf dense, dang. <laughs> they call me Santa Claus around here. But yeah, I'm just saying prizes are good, okay? okay? Great. People like to win stuff. Okay. Um, sewing machine. Oh, I didn't realize I even put this in here. I thought we- You already talked in. about it. So yeah, um, we were talking about the importance of having a sewing kit. Mm-hmm. There it is. It's a manual treatle. <clears throat> That's the one that you step on the pedal. Okay. And it sews- so yeah. cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> but um, sewing machine and equipment. So uh, you have, so-so, mm. you have your little kit that you throw in your bug out bag, simple, manual. Maybe you don't know how to do it. They do have. Sewing. Oh, okay. They do have a sewing machine and equipment that you can just make things way easier on yourself. Yeah, for sure. They have, uh, like, on Amazon, I think it's like 20 bucks, a senior battery-powered uh, sewing machine. Interesting. Pretty cool. You can embroider your name. Don't you know, sewing machines break like number every one. 30 seconds Yeah, though? so this one probably breaks as soon every as it comes seconds. out of the box. It comes broken. Yeah. But then they have ones that you just kind of like, it's almost like scissors. You just, That's um, cool. But yeah, you don't, re- you think sewing machine, all you can think of is those big, huge things. Yeah. You know, maybe that's a nightlight for your bedroom. That was how, when I grew up, <laughs> I slept in the sewing machine In room. Nana's room. <laughs> yeah. Under the subtle light of a sewing machine, <laughs> I read the book. Um, is it raining? Is it pouring? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get a portable sewing machine. Cool. If you really want to go all out and, you, and your wife knows how to sew or you know how to sew, mm. get a manual treadle. Okay. And that's the one you just push the pedal and it's like, those never break. Mm-mm. Been sold for hundreds of years. Yeah. But I threw that in there just because um, I like that. you don't always have to manually do it. They do yeah. have little handheld ones. I'm going to get one. I'm going to try it out. Awesome. Tell you. Sounds like a TikTok. Yeah. How about super glue? How about it? <clears throat> Stuff is super. It, <laughs> it is. really is. Um, there's so many different things you can do with super glue. And mostly it's just glue your fingers together. That happens all the <laughs> yeah. time. But you could patch a tent pretty easy. You get a little hole in the tent, just put a little super glue on there. That, like, that stuff, it glues anything. It does. When it comes down to it. Um, medical wound closures, obviously, Cam did this to me one time. Uh, did. We made a uh, did. YouTube video. One of our mm-hmm. most popular videos, actually, is him patching up. Yeah, it's a great uh, yeah. medical device. Yeah. So, <clears throat> there's some weird stuff on the internet about this. Uh, I read on several sites that you can glue together a weapon of some sort with super glue. What is that? I don't like just gluing shit together. <laughs> <laughs> like a rake and a and a scissors or something. I don't like really. That was like one of the threads I was reading. I'm like, okay, so you could do that. A hole and a post hole digger. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the garden tool. Yeah. Um. So that's one thing you could do. Make a weapon of some. Yeah, sort. I think the the gorilla glue super glue. <clears throat> yeah. 
is a little bit better at that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. Boot and shoe repair, that's yeah. great with that mm-hmm. Gorilla Glue stuff. Yes. Seriously. You can really any type of gear you have like that has any sort of uh like leather or yeah. it has um like cloth. I have my backpack where it sits down kind of by your belt, mm-hmm. you know, the back part and it wears off yeah. that like waterproof. Mm-hmm. It's like a good place to put it. Yeah. What you got someone CNN calling? notifications. Oh, okay. Something else going down. Oh, you got CNN on your phone? Go figure that out. What are you biting? Um, yeah. And the last thing, um, maybe you need to restrain a dude. You don't have your dental floss. You don't have, you know, or you don't have, man. yeah, either way. <laughs> Just have them put their hands together behind their back and put super glue on their <laughs> yeah. palms. Old trick yeah. my dad taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> super glue our hands together. Oh, Can you man. imagine actually having that happen? Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> it would be horrible. Anyways. I hate getting just a teeny bit on my finger. Yeah. Like all day, I'm like, oh, I'm numb right there. Yeah. Drive me nuts. Yep, exactly. But super glue, there's so many uses. Hide medically. your fingerprints. Yeah. Or make your fingerprint. One of the two. You remember Ant-Man did that? Mm. Super glue. Put his finger, burned it. Yeah. Got into a safe. For sure. Got the Ant-Man. Costume. Anyways. I'm going to tell you the whole story. Okay, how does it start? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, super glue is great. Mm. But you know what else is great? Mm. Not COVID 19, because this pandemic has sucked mm. and it's made everybody go online and buy stuff and sell stuff and find stuff. And the internet is not the safest place. It's, it's not. not. It's freaking horrible. No. It's, ads popping it's up. It's like the projects of Chicago. <laughs> it really is. Seriously. So all of your stuff, completely vulnerable online. Always you can vulnerable. make it not vulnerable online. <laughs> if you get Surfshark VPN, it yeah. can protect you and all the devices that connect to that dirty, stinky internet. I hate the, all the internets in the whole world. Yeah, and that's what I love the most about Surfshark <clears throat> yeah. is you subscribe to it and it will apply to as many devices as you want. You don't get a limit, five mm. computers. Maybe you have 10 PCs in your home. Maybe you're a Bitcoin miner. I do, but I own one of them works. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but for all those 7,000 tabs, you yeah. want it to be protected. I know. And so Surfshark is a virtual private network. Puts you online. Gray man. No one knows who you are. You can even put your server in, you know, uh, the middle of Afghanistan right now. Haiti. Yeah. Maybe. Haiti. <laughs> they don't have power. <laughs> the one server. <laughs> we got one Surfshark server here. Yeah. But that's pretty cool because it puts you in that country. You can access, you know, Netflix of Madagascar or something. It's a great movie. Who knows what you could watch there. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And you will not find a VPN cheaper, more inexpensive no. than yeah. Surfshark. It's roughly two twenty one a month if you use our code. You can get it for less than sixty. That's like bucks. a coffee. I know. It's one coffee. Sixty bucks for twenty seven months. What? If you can't calculate, it's over two years. Two Good years, gracious. three months. That's how long it took me to go through PA school. Okay. Good gracious. I could have had Surfshark the whole time. And the um, Jeez. anyways, if you don't like it, you can try it out. Thirty days, money back. Let Go. me let me give you a little hint. You're gonna like it. You are. You're gonna. It's like a it. super easy to use app, and you can even put it in your router or router wherever you're from. Yeah. And then when you, everybody goes online at your house, you don't have to go through a server. It's already going through a server. It's I'm awesome. going to show that one time. You should. I've looked it up, and and I see how to do it. I just don't have time to put it in there. Anyways, um, go to Surfshark dot deals slash casual preppers give it a 30 day try mm-hmm. i guarantee you, you're gonna love it you're gonna feel safe yeah. comfortable warm and you're not gonna mess around link is in the show notes by yeah. the way okay just go click it yeah get it aluminum and foil <clears throat> yeah so aluminum foil multiple uses you can put a little piece around an old fuse and tie it in <laughs> remember great. my dad i think our whole house ran on uh, aluminum pennies foil. and aluminum foil from the mm-hmm. fuse box outside um, cooking, great for cooking. Hats so that the aliens don't. Yeah, actually, it's tin. Block your brain. So that's the, that's a common aluminum misconception. And tin foil. That's right. Yeah, aluminum foil is actually a conductor. Dude, your so brain like, waves are going to be they'd be shot out. out to Mars. So you're like basically that. like funneling yeah. into the spaceship. So you got to be careful. That's true. Um, but no, <laughs> aluminum foil is super useful for cooking. Hobo dinners all night. I love it. I freaking love hobo. Dinners. Yeah, they're like my favorite. Um, and it, the food's already wrapped up. Like, you can even heat it up, throw mm. it in your bag. Yeah. Like a hot potato. Mm. Keep you warm, and you're on, you travel around. <laughs> Eat your potato later. That's right. 
Um, it's a good insulator. It is. Can you imagine just sitting out there camping, completely covered in your aluminum <laughs> foil. It's going to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. But it can be used as an insulator. Um, you can use it to mark a path. Tie a little piece of tin foil on a tree. Yeah. Pretty easy to see. For sure. It's a rhyme. Um, <laughs> fishing lure, you know. Mm-hmm. They love sparkly things. They do. Maybe maybe a raccoon. You just put a little piece down in the spiky, you know, get their hand stuck, and you got raccoon for dinner. Mm. Uh, and you could cook them in the aluminum foil. <laughs> <laughs> just have the whole thing in aluminum yeah. foil, so when, when it gets caught, you, you just push it down in there, wrap it up, wrap cook it. Up, it. Throw in the fire. <laughs> Start the fire, because you, you've you got the cotton balls <laughs> underneath. Disgusting. <laughs> just fur everywhere. It burns the hair yeah. off. Yeah. But, <laughs> um. Yeah, anyway, uh, solar oven. Mm. Have you ever made one out of aluminum foil? I haven't. I haven't either. No. Sounds like you can. Okay. The internet says so. <laughs> uh, sharpen things. This I, I, I don't know if this is true, but apparently, I guess this is tin, but I guess aluminum might be similar. You can cut a bunch of tin foil and it sharpens scissors. Had no idea. Mm. I doubt it works. That seems sketchy. Yeah. Waterproof, you know, yeah. and then you can use it to channel your rain catchment into mm. your garbage bag. Oh my foil. gosh. Yeah. It's super right. malleable. It is. It's great. Um Make and then a gutter. reflector. If you're lost, you just shine it up at the airplane. And get arrested. Yeah. For blinding the pilot. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah. aluminum foil is crucial. Well, you can also like foil. <clears throat> black out windows with it. Yeah. Same thing. And it, and it, like oh, you said, yeah. it's an insulator Cut some as heat well. Down. Yeah. Heat down, heat up, heat whichever down, way up. you want it. Yep, exactly. But yeah, it does um, amazing things. I agree. I love it. For cooking, it's excellent. How about wet wipes? Yeah. I mean... It would be easy to overlook these. <clears throat> yeah, but if you have a baby, obviously. I mean, you're you gonna can't live a, a day without them. No. Right? Wiping butts, cleaning nuts. Or an nuts, old person. They, it's what they do, Cam. Okay? It's... Uh, yeah. It's, it's, I don't know why they don't use that as like a tagline. I don't either. Wiping <laughs> butts and cleaning nuts. <laughs> You know, oh, that does sound good. Yeah, we'll put that down. Make a commercial. I mm-hmm. like, you remember Asper Cream for a short time? They had, you bet your Asper Cream. <laughs> no. It only lasted awesome, like though. a month. No, <laughs> you bet your Asper Cream. I thought that was the best freaking, I was like, man. That's awesome. No, I don't remember that. Uh, I'll okay. find that. Um, they're great for adults, too. They're not just for the babies. They're, yeah, they're true. Because you can do the same thing with your butts and nuts with yeah. them if you got to. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Give yourself a horse bath. If you need to, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, you can do that. Um, medically, you can clean up disgusting messes that need to be cleaned up. Yeah. Right. That I mean, you want to be. If you didn't know, if you got a cut or something, you want to keep it clean and the area around it clean. You yeah. could use wet wet wipes to to clean it off. So that's, wet wipes are nice. <clears throat> you're right. They are. Um, and the problem is with wet wipes sometimes is that the can it dries out, mm-hmm. right? And then you just have wipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's okay because you can use those as normal toilet yeah. paper or whatever you got to, and they're a pillow, pillow, or they're just they flammable. Turn, yeah. yeah, you know, in a pandemic, obviously these can help you keep surfaces clean. They are actually quite soothing for sunburns and bug bites and things like yeah. that. I don't feel they actually are, they they wick up stuff really well. Like Do they? You just put a bunch of bug spray on them. And oh, apply it all over your body. That makes sense. Yeah. If you're if you're traveling, if you're in a bug out situation, you're at a hotel. You want to wipe down everything that's in that place. That's true. Starting with the remote, the you phone. Killed somebody. Yeah, if, especially Wet if you killed somebody. Super especially helpful. if you've killed somebody. <laughs> um, but you know, you get in that hotel, and there's there's more germs in there than there is outside the, the hotel in in the bottom of a toilet. <laughs> so you have to just wipe everything off. Yeah. And so it's great to have those around if you want. They to are wipe stuff off. Um, for me, bang for the buck, I like Epic wipes. Because oh, yeah. those things, it's like a beach towel, <laughs> it's like, and you can clean your whole family with one. Yeah, if you need, it's to. like a silage pit tarp. Mm, exactly, it's freaking massive. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. <laughs> the silage pit tarp. The only thing I think, like the American flag. Yeah, it's huge, big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, wet wipes are great. There's so many different uses. As for a prepper, they're great. Yeah, great for toilet paper. Like, <clears throat> yeah, know, if you if you got a raw bum. Mm. Wet wipes are really nice. I'm sure they are. Yeah, I just I've never. We really have the used flushable them. ones that I've my used wife before, buys but... for my kids, yeah. and I'll be honest, you use them. I like them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah, wet wipes or wet flushable toilet. flushables. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, safety pins. 
So hmm. going way back, back we talked about safety pins being um, a really interesting medical uh, tool. Was that our first medical tool? I want to say it was. It was right close to it, wasn't it? Supposedly we saved a life. I don't know if it's still true. Sounds like What somebody... was true once is true today. <laughs> right. And I got, I mean, I got shamed for this. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Um, but you could. So safety pins could be used to secure body parts. Let's say the tongue, for example. Sure, yeah. Somebody's seize, seizing, mm -hmm. and you're like, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah. You can, <laughs> this is crazy, but this is in the Wilderness Medicine book. <clears throat> you can puncture their tongue into their bottom lip mm -hmm. and then just secure it with a safety pin. Go find help. Yeah. I keep a, a whole rack, a bunch of them here. Like pre-show, Cam has a seizure once in a while. <laughs> just Look at all, It looks like I've been pierced a million yeah, times. Exactly. But yeah, uh, they're good. Like if you have a really large wound and it take, it's seriously, it's hard. That's a large wound. Yeah. Oh, if you're gosh. the one like taking care of that wound, it's hard yeah. to bring the edges together to suture. Yeah. You could use a safety pin to like oh. close the gap and then suture to it, take it out. Pretty cool. That that would work. Yeah. Um all, you, uh, by the way, um, nurses, please send us emails about all the stuff. It'll that you be think. there. <laughs> They're already sending one right now. I'm gonna get hung out to dry. Yeah. I'm sure. Where does it say that? But if but if we have um dental floss, we could hang you out to dry. That's true. Because we can make some clothes. That's on. true. Um, clothing issues. How often do you lose a button? I'm having a clothing issue. <laughs> Everybody stop. <laughs> Hold on. We're not going to make it up there tonight. I'm having clothing issues. <laughs> Let's make camp right here. Having clothing I'm issues. I'm calling into work to say that. <laughs> I'm going to be late and having clothing issues. <laughs> I don't know what to wear. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you're wading through the river, you can hem up your pants. Yeah. You tie them up. Caulk the, caulk the wagon and float across. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, again, fishing hook and lure. 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 Uh, lock pick. I've never tried that. that I haven't impossible. either. Um, and then <clears throat> even securing bandages like the triangle yeah. bandage, a bandana, bandages any of that. Safety pin makes you. it super nice. Bandages, bandages. <laughs> but safety pins, yeah, multiple uses. Mm. Love them. Get them. You got to get them in your kits. Yeah, you gotta. They're great. You just gotta. How about pantyos? <laughs> huh? I love a good set of <laughs> pantyos. Admittedly, look, I don't know much about pantyhose. And when I was reading into this stuff, it, it was weirding me out, to be honest with you. Got a runner in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing pantyhose. <laughs> uh, but Never watched that. <laughs> um, but there is some weird survival uses when you get on the internet. So I, I was, was glad shocked. I was using a VPN because I'm like, yeah. am I How many dark banks web? have been robbed? Yeah, panty hoses. So listen to this. Hose. This is gonna blow your damn mind. I'm ready. Keep animals away. Okay. <laughs> Put dog or human hair in strips of pantyhose and place or tie them around the proximity of your garden. It's best to do. Why don't this. you just put a real human head in it? <laughs> Dang it! The smell will prevent deer and other creatures from coming in and eating and ruining your survival garden. Wow. <clears throat> but listen to this. I mean, can you imagine explaining this to your wife? Hey, babe. I need a lock of your hair and your old pantyhose. <laughs> I'm going to go garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're sick. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're into, but that's gross. Ew. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sure, whatever. There's an old trick I learned on the web. <laughs> um, so apparently you could do that and keep things away. I'm like, I don't know why you would use pantyhose. If I saw pantyhose hanging on I'm somebody's leaving. house, I'm not I'm leaving. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm out of here. <laughs> This place ain't that worth is it. not worth scavenging. <laughs> no. It's a weird crap. I will going. There's hair in there too. I'll There's eat my hair own. in that bag. I'll eat my own foot before I go into that garden. <laughs> um, Shouldn't that human hair? <laughs> Whoa, I'm out of here. <laughs> in pantyhose? Yuck. Is it raining? Is it? <laughs> um, it also keeps away the bugs uh, because you wear pantyhose, they can't bite you. Yeah. So. I can see that. What about fishnet? <laughs> no, it doesn't quite. Also prevents jellyfish from stinging you and leeches from latching onto your skin. Oh, wow. So you I just want to wear pantyhose all the time. Uh, why am well. I not wearing pantyhose right <laughs> I don't now? Know. It says it's a small price to pay for these benefits. Yeah. Yeah. So wear your pantyhose under your pants. What if you have, um, for morale boosting, mm -hmm. do a play? Who's going to play Peter Pan? Mm -hmm. Got to have some pantyhose. Got to have some pantyhose. You're correct on that one. Prevents blisters. Yeah, I could see that. You know, you know, friction. Work, friction. 
You're right. Um, as a mask to conceal your identity. Yes. Of course. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. Used many a time. You can hunt small animals. Get a few rocks, put them oh, in your pantyhose, of a... tie it off at the end. David and Goliath type yeah. situation. Yeah. Catch fish. Oh, yeah. You get you stretch your pantyhose over a Y-shaped branch, or create a net. Maybe you get huge pantyhose. Huh? Maybe you should get the oversized pantyhose. Well. You don't have to stretch them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how big they get. <laughs> how big do they get? I don't know. This big? Uh, you go into the pantyhose store and say, hey, which one's best for fishing? <laughs> what size do I need? I want the biggest ones. I, I need, you could use it as a tourniquet. Yeah. Obviously. Um, here's a good one. This is a really interesting material. Yeah. Replace a fan belt. <laughs> I think I've heard that. A serpentine belt, like mm -hmm. on the car. I guess. Bull crap, but says you can do it. It's not permanent. It says don't, don't, <laughs> don't count on it. Don't go another eight hundred miles on yeah. it. Yeah, you're gonna want to get it fixed, but to get you back to a place if you need to. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. So like that's your pantyhose for you. I mean, a lot of different uses. I'm gonna go get some today. <clears throat> yeah, and they come in them weird little egg things. You know, do they the, still come in? I don't know. Figure. But I remember that. Last, cool. I remember that from a little kid. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What's in there? Pantyhose. What's, yeah, I don't get why they're in that thing. <laughs> I don't need It doesn't make any sense. It's a weird creature that laid an egg. <laughs> That's some pantyhose. <laughs> pantyhose, yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. No, alien. Mm. It's alien technology. Sure. Um, not a slipcock key. This is a silk cock. Spitcock. Spitcock. Hey, keep getting that wrong. Spitcock. Dang it. I'm starting to get correct. So a silcock key. Um, we got one of these in the battle box, the Urban Survival, right? Yeah, it was a great one. So uh, if you don't know what this is, mm. it isn't dirty. No, it's not. It's actually. pretty cool. It looks like a really poorly made Chinese star. Yeah. It's got all these different uh, heads on it for uh, basically on commercial buildings. They have a little spigot that has. Usually older commercial buildings. Yeah, yeah. that's true. They don't, you can't turn them on. They don't have any uh, faucet head or whatever, the little spindle thing. Mm -hmm. So this will go in there. It's either square or it's star shaped or triangular. And the mm -hmm. Silcock key has multiple ways to turn the water on. Yeah. So you can steal some water from your local church or something. Yeah. But um, threw that in there because you can buy those and um, it'd be in a, you know, if you're traveling through a city and you don't want to yeah. stop at 7-Eleven and get a big gulp or a water bottle, mm. steal some off the side of the building. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, little tool that's small, aluminum, light, and it just can open up all kinds of valves. It's yeah, they're great. great for bug out bags. Yeah. They're great. How about kitty litter? Yeah. Yeah, these are great if you got kitties. <laughs> it's really great. I just... I don't know why I read through the notes on that. Made me laugh. The funny thing is I just... I got two cats yesterday. Oh, you got two? Yeah. Two. Welcome to my world. Wow. It, it's kind of a sore subject with me, and I'm just letting it go. Okay. I want you to remember that, dear. So She's you, listening right now. You got a bunch of kitty litter? I, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I probably got a bunch of kitty stuff. I don't even know about. <clears throat> but having a bag of kitty litter in your emergency vehicles... Obviously, it can help you um, gain traction. Yeah. If you get stuck in the snow, you just throw that stuff out. There you are. Um, use it in a sanitation kit. Yeah. It's super absorbent. It, it absorbs liquids and smells. You can use it in a portable toilet. I mean, your cats can use it as a portable toilet. You can use it too. It reduces sure. mold. Did you know that? Yeah. It can absorb small amounts of water, Makes obviously. Sense. Yeah. So th that's kind of a great uh, alternate use for kitty litter. Moles and rodents don't like the smell of it, apparently. And I didn't know that. So you can pour some into the entrance ah, of like their little holes or whatnot, and they don't like it. They go away. They go bye bye. <laughs> um, Dig elsewhere. Yeah. Controls algae in ponds. That's another thing I didn't know. Didn't Use know about one either. pound of kitty litter for 2,000 gallons of water. Oh, okay. Good. You just get a calculator out to do that math yeah, if you need to. Yeah. That's something you can do. It eliminates odors. Obviously, we don't need to talk about that anymore. Reduces Great oil for vomit, sp spots. Like inside the. It is. You soak it all up. Oil spots, you yeah. know? That's, that's great. It's good in the garden, apparently. Um, I've heard that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really want to get into it that much, but it is what <laughs> it is. We don't know. <clears throat> uh, uh, there's some of the kitty litter is made from calcium bentonite. 